First, I just want to start with saying something a little more serious. This week, I want to uh, dedicate this video, just this week, not any other weeks, but I'm going to dedicate this one to uh, Zachary and What's up, you niggers? Uh, this is the week two preview of our fantasy football league. But first, let's take a look at my week one results. As you can obviously see, these videos obviously mean nothing since I was the only one to, well, carry out my predictions. Everyone else ended up either upsetting my pick or ended up losing my predictions and all week one really went to shit besides me winning. I'm pretty sure I was the only one who also covered the spread set by ESPN. Really doesn't surprise me considering who won the league last year. But now, let's look at this week. Starting off, you know, let's just start where, obviously, it's just, let's start with the easy ones first. We'll just do that. Um, you got Andy and Michael playing each other, the Kyron's Believers and the Michael Sex Jedis or whatever his name is. This is easy. Andy's favorite by 14. Michael shouldn't even be Brian. But, I mean, come on. It's easy. Andy wins in a landslide. Since we're staying on the easy train, we're going to go to the well, post-game conference of the 2007 Miami Dolphins. Tom somehow won a game last week. I don't know if that's saying more for him or less for Tony. But, he did. But, that's winning streak stops at one as he feats or he faces the already undefeated we're gonna call them the Sean Man Beavers. I don't like this Montreal shit we're doing. But as much as I don't like his name, he is clearly and in every other way possible the better team. So we'll go with Nick for the Sean Man Beavers for this one. Coming up next, we got my Dirty Dog of the Week. Which I am surprisingly 0-1 on. I really felt good about my pick last week. This week, we're going to do something a little more realistic. And, I, and, you know, he lost to Sobs. But he's got to bounce back this week, or he might not even be allowed to stay in the league anymore. So, Tony, this week, is my Dirty Dog, who I'm picking to upset over Steve. Next we have what is my favorite, your favorite, Nick's favorite, everyone's favorite feature of the week, and that is the goal of the week. And this goal of the week is going to be no one else but the quarterback, Corey Siblicki, who is easily outmatched by Brian's magnificent team is a 19.0% underdog this week. So Brian, congratulations, you just made Corey our goal of the And last but not least, we got the easiest pick of the week, baby. We have our defending champions and undefeated this year in Trent We Trust who just looked dominating. We got the big board right here. Steve couldn't cover it. And I, well, can you just pick? I mean, he's won everything lately. Anyway. I'm gonna go with easily my best pick this week. My lock of the week. My safe, secure lock of the week is in Trent we Trust taking care of the Buffalo Snipers. And just continuing what we've seen him do, which is nothing but dominating every team he picks and hopefully 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 I'll be wrong again this week 
like I am every week, and Andy's pick, and Michael will accept them. And hopefully, hopefully, I can climb the number one of the highly, highly controversial power rankings set out by Andy. Back it up, my niggas call me.